总统马英九十六号应美国史丹佛大学邀请，以视讯会议方式发表演讲。前美国国务卿莱斯担任主持人。马总统强调，在变动的东亚情势中，他致力推动两岸和解，台湾的国际空间因而扩大，不仅有利东亚局势稳定，符合美国利益，也符合国际利益。We greatly improve our relation with the mainland and greatly reducing the Tension between the two sides of the Taiwan Strait. That is certainly in the interest of the United States, because we want to make sure, not only to United States, to Japan, to other friends in this part of the world, our rapprochement with mainland China will actually benefit the international community in general, and specifically to countries in East Asia. 马总统表示，朝鲜半岛近日情势紧张，相形之下，两岸正处于六十年来最和平的状态，增加了东亚局势的稳定。不少与谈人肯定马总统提出的东海和平倡议，也好奇台湾居中扮演的角色。I understand the、uh, difficulties of reaching consensus. That is why I divided the process into two phases. Phase one will involve Three sets of bilateral talks. So we try to start the negotiation with Japan after 16 rounds of failed negotiations. But this time we made it. Both sides recognize the need to have agreement to reduce the tension and escalation. And、uh, the agreement we signed six days ago actually demonstrate how we can really handle. A crisis situation to reach agreement without sacrificing each other's territorial and maritime claims. 两岸关系方面，总统强调建立互信是台海和平的唯一途径，而二十年来多数民众都支持维持现状，如此可称为台湾共识。We also ask questions about the future of、uh, Taiwan. One is. Reunification with the mainland. The other is independence, and the third one is maintaining the status quo. But if you count uh, uh, very uh, precisely, almost more than 70% supports maintaining the status quo, and this has been like this for more than 20 years. So I think it's probably could be considered a so-called Taiwan consensus. 这是马总统第四次透过视讯和美方学界交换意见，不仅凸显台湾在东亚变局中推动两岸和平的重要性，也再次彰显台美间的紧密友谊。